welcome to um, Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the psychic medium that will be entertaining you for the next bit of time here. So as the little wheelie thing was going, I was waiting to start the show. I realized half of my head was cut off and was trying to adjust the camera. So please forgive that. Anyway, here we go. A um, couple quick announcements I need to make at the beginning of every single show. And the first thing is... Um, <laughs> okay, I go live. <laughs> I go live every Monday and Wednesday at noon. Yep, every Monday and Wednesday at noon Central Time. If you'd like to join us, you can join us on YouTube. You can also join by calling in 845-277-9131. Um, if you join live on YouTube, you get to join the pre-chat to the show where we ask questions and for songs and all kinds of silly great things. And you can ask questions before the show even starts if you're in the chat um, on Monday or Wednesday. And then if you call in, you can ask a question about life, love, career, finances, or uh, connect with a loved one on the other side. Uh, I will on, I will never reach out to you on any social media thing. And here's another thing that I feel like I need to address. I go around and I um, like delete it and report it every time I see it, but it keeps popping up under different names. In my comment section on some of my social media, there's a fake person. It's a real, it's a, it's a person uh, promoting somebody else's work. If you see that, please report it and delete it immediately. Um, I don't condone the type of work that's being done. Plus, you know, ride your own effing coattails. Don't come to my pages and promote your work. Who does that? Who does that? What kind of no business having person will do that? Like, oh, I'm so bad. I need to go to somebody else's page to get their people. Well, mm -hmm. No, is all I can say. But don't buy into it. Don't waste your money on that stuff. Um, just just don't let that go. Okay, I'm going to start taking, I'm going to, okay, first, okay, yeah. First, I'm going to give you guys some songs. Um, <clears throat> some of these songs I have been hearing all weekend. If these songs are for you, you will know. Trust me, these are not songs that are even, I don't even think they're played on the radio anymore. I had to listen to one, um, I, I can't remember what night it was, but the next morning I had to look it up and listen to it. And that beautiful, and if this song is for you and you know it's from a loved one on the other side, I'm going to say these songs are so old, they have to be from loved ones on the other side. Okay. So the first song is that song. <laughs> I can't even sing it with a straight face. I was trying to fall asleep and the song was like popping in my head. I was cracking up. Okay. I was just <laughs> cracking up. <laughs> Put another log on the fire. <laughs> Cook me up some bacon and some beans. <laughs> Go out to the car and change a tire. Then come and tell me why you're leaving me. Oh my God, there are so many more like verses to that that I, I'm not going to sing it all, but oh, holy, I was cracking up at that song. So if that song is for you, you're going to know it. It might just be the message of that song too. Like if somebody, you know, if somebody is having you like in that place, like whatever. The next song is Stroken. <laughs> I think that song is by Clarence Carter. And no, I'm not even going to attempt to sing that one. <laughs> I will say we'd be stroking to the left. We'd be stroking to the right. We'd be, 
we be stroking. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's all I'm singing of that song. And then the next song is that song. Um, I, I'm just going to say the title because you'll know it as soon as I say the title, My Dingaling. Okay, those are the songs. Those are straight up the songs. If you know those songs, if those songs were someone you knew loved on the other side, you listen to them, whatever that is, those are the songs for from them to you guys or whomever they are for, okay? Whomever they are for, okay? That is um, what I can say about that. I want to say hi to some of the people on YouTube, and then I'm going to go to callers. So the first um, person is Heather. Hey, Heather. Caroline. Jenna B. Hey, Genevieve. Um, Sal. Oh, Sal. How are you? Uh, Mimi's here. Hey, Mimi. Um, Rebecca's here. Terry's here. I want to make sure I'm trying not to forget anybody, but I probably, if I have, please, I'm sorry. I forgot. Please don't be offended. Um, Sal wants to know, I was trying to do a Robin Williams good morning Vietnam. <laughs> Oh, Sal, the first one. Wow, busy chat today. Good morning. I love it, Sal. Thank you. Yeah, the chat's been going. I love it, too. Hey, Kim, how are you? Um, Caroline, happy Monday. And I'm trying to also scan to see if there are any um, questions in the chat so far. I haven't gotten Okay, Genevieve from Canada says she's never heard any of those songs. Yeah, that is definitely probably more of an American thing, Genevieve. <laughs> they're very old. Uh, they're very uh, comical today. I think they're very funny today. Um, I'm just going to go with that. They're very funny today. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to address a question that somebody in the chat asked. They said, ever since the big C, the, the pandemic or whatever we're allowed to call it now, has happened, they've been very, very tired um, and have not been able to, to get their energy back. Well, there's a couple things, people, whether you... Uh, iodine drops that you can ingest. They're very inexpensive at health food stores or online will help bring back some of that um, energy. Also, sometimes, you know, in other countries, people do cleanses, one big good cleanse once a year. And then some people even do a cleanse three, um, three or four times a year, every three to four months for and when I say this right away, everybody's like, oh, my God, that's so disgusting. And maybe it is. Maybe it is disgusting, but it's also very accurate um, for parasites and or um, like any sort of intestinal worms or anything. Now, we think in America that we can't get that our food, this, that and the other thing. It's it's just simply not true. It's not true. If you. um it's, it's so much easier to get them. And I could tell you story after story of um, nurses who have come forward who have said that they actually look at the blood work and the test results and doctors tell them to take um, off the test results that say they have parasites or worms. And a lot of this is women with endometriosis. There are naturopathic doctors and um, other scientists and doctors that are coming forward and saying that all of the big C, A-N-C-E-R, may be just that. So before you go out and start doing all of this other stuff, give your body a good cleanse. And just give your body a good cleanse and see what happens, see what the result is. Um, maybe you feel nothing, maybe you feel something. The bottom line is, in again, in other countries, they, they do it consistently. And we do bring in a, a lot of food from other countries. Not only do we bring in food from other countries, but we've been sending our food out to countries to get um, taken care of, and then they send it back to us. Um, a lot of our meat has been going to 
other countries where they uh, prepare it for us and then send it back to us, which to me makes no sense, but whatever. It, it is what it is. But that is what I'm going to say for that. So I would recommend that if you have, just try it and see. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Just prove me wrong. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Um, okay, I'm going to go to the first caller and then I'm going to answer Genevieve's question because Genevieve posted a question. 860860. What's your Hi. Hi, Tony. It's Amla. How are you? Hey, Amla. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. I I'll, uh, I don't want to, I just want to get to the question because I know you have other callers. Um, so I met somebody and I was just wondering, do you feel a significant time frame that it's going to be more a significant relationship? He's really a good person. I just feel so connected to him. Okay, so even before you asked about the time frame, the first thing I heard, Amla, is go slow. <laughs> like as soon as you said, I just yeah. I met someone, I heard go slow. <laughs> so what I'm gonna say to you is, um, yeah. and I need you. I'm gonna say this in a way. I hope you understand, my beautiful, beautiful friend is. Um, and this is a. I don't want to say this is a psychology thing, but it kind of is. Um, the slower you go, the more comfortable this person is going to be pursuing or moving forward, moving forward with you. Now, men are designed genetically to be the hunters, to be the chasers, to be the whatever. Now, I'm going to say, even if our actions are us trying to act cool and be like, oh, yeah, that's okay. That's fine. Our energy has to match it because people, we feel each other more than we watch each other. So what, and I know how difficult it can be when somebody's like taking their time and we're like, listen, I want to know, I, like that song is coming to my head. I need to know, I need to know, I need to know. Um, if this ain't love, just, just say so. I think that's the words of the song. I don't know, but I'm going to tell you, <laughs> if you play this like, not play it, but if you allow yourself to just embrace the moments and go forward, this yeah. person will uh, reciprocate, reciprocate accordingly. Okay. So allow yourself just to take that time. Don't worry about timelines in this case. Do not worry about timelines. Do not worry about how quickly you get to the X spot that is in your mind. Because I, this is okay. what I say to other people. I'm not always good with this for myself, but I can say it to other people. If this is the person <laughs> you're going to spend a significant amount of time with years or the rest of your life, it doesn't matter how quickly you get there. It doesn't matter how okay. fast you get to this specific yes. spot because you have you have all of your time together, right? You have all of your time. So take your time and make sure it is the person. And then from there, you can just, you know, have that enjoyable thing. So the thing I'm hearing for this person in you is just go slow, take your time, allow them to make their moves. Okay, sweet girl. Uh, um, can I ask you just one little thing? Um, we're presenting. I just... I, just to, to, I totally get no timeline, thing like that. But will I just know per se of just when um, it's going to like, he's going to feel the same. He's just going to initiate. Is that what you're saying? You, I'll just know because I'll initiate on his own. Correct. Cor so, yeah. So, and okay. here's, here's what I like to say to um, it or what, what they're, they're having me to say is, um, Okay, I'm trying to say it in a in a really good way, um, without making it sound like I'm like everybody. <clears throat> everybody loves attention. Women love attention. Men love attention. Everybody loves a little bit of attention. So if we're sure. giving sure. somebody attention because of our feelings, and we have not stepped back to see their feelings. 
We have not pulled back our energy because in the beginning of a relationship, it's really easy for us to assume the other person feels the way we do. It's really easy for us because uh, we're so caught up in the love yeah. that we have for them. It's all in com or I'm not even going to say love, the like, the lust, the feelings that we have for them yeah. that we're feeling yeah. our feelings and we're not paying attention to what, you know, they're putting down. We're not seeing or accurately feeling their feelings. So if we can remove our emotions, even just for like 10 minutes while we're with them, we'll see the truth about how they're feeling. Is it, is it friendly? Is it more than friendly? Are they interested and wanting to move forward? But when we have that overwhelming, like, oh my gosh, this guy is so amazing thing, or this girl is so amazing thing, we haven't stepped back to say, okay, what are they, what are they sending my way? I need to step back and pull my emotions out just for a second and t t listen to the way they're saying things and how they're interacting with other people. So I can see, it, are they interacting with me and Sally the same, or are they interacting with me a little bit more intimately than they are with Sally? I, and I don't know, there's no Sally. I just made that name up, folks. Um, there's absolutely no Sally. It's just a made up name, just to have a name. Um, so you want to know that they're that you're that the feelings you're feeling aren't only and all yours. So step back, let let him let this person uh, show f feel what they're feeling, not only your feelings, and then show you where they want to take this, and then make your decision from there. Okay, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. That's so helpful. Oh, Thank you. you so much. I still want to listen to your show. Thank you. You are so welcome. You have an amazing Bless day you. and I will talk with you again soon. Love. Thank you. You are welcome. Thank you. Sounds good. Thanks. <laughs> Bye for now, love. Bye. 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 Okay. I'm going to go straight to Genevieve's question. Question. Why is my ex David keeps on popping in my mind? What does he want? Haven't heard from him in three years ish. I love to do what? Uh, yeah. Okay. So Genevieve is saying she's doing, she loves doing cleanses too. I'm going to say if he's popping only in your mind, um, Genevieve, he might be thinking of you, but what I'm picking up on and what I'm going to do a clearing on is, um, there's something that hasn't healed in you between the two of you. Maybe you don't even realize what this is. And a lot of times when it pops into our mind, we don't realize what it is. So for you, everybody listening, watching, re-listening, re-watching, and come back to this one because we have sometimes more than one X and sometimes it can take more than one of these clearings to clear all of this out. Um, all with any and all exes, including friends, has healed. It has not cleared and released. Oh my, holy guacamole. Y'all, we have some messy exes going on out here. Oh, y'all. Y'all, I feel like I should be on a horse with a straw hat right now. Y'all, okay. I literally have tears coming out to my eyes right now. <laughs> okay. All that caused this and kept this has healed, cleared, and released. Nope. Let's clear, heal, and release it. And then here's the big one for this. All that. Oh, shish. <laughs> Who all that attracted me to this person and situation. Booyah. All that attracted me to this person and situation has healed, cleared, and released, and I get a no. Okay, you guys, enjoy that as much as I did. Yeah, yeah, baby, <laughs> enjoy that as much as I did. Okay, I'm going <laughs> to... Uh, oh, Sal says he's doing a parasite cleanse right now. Yes, Sal. Pra put its praises in the comments for people so they, they understand it. 
it not only cleans out like that, but like anything else that's any other toxins in the body that just don't belong there. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to 417. 417, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, um, my name is Lena. I'm calling from North Carolina. Excellent, beautiful. Can you hear me? Yep, I can. How can I help you today? Uh, first, I did want to say um, I called before and you had told me that um, something was going to rock my world. <laughs> Um, and it did happen, oh. which was my husband almost died twice. Oh, so, so that kind of rocked my world. Uh, yeah, not kind of really, really rocked your world. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm happy he survived yeah. though. I'm happy that he survived. Um, so yeah, yeah. How can I help you today? Love? Okay. And I'm so, I'm so sorry that that happened. How um, can I help you today? Yeah, yeah. And so my, um, it has to do with my granddaughter. I just want to see what's going to be happening with her in the future. Um, my, their mom and dad are going to be moving. So I just want to see what's going to happen with the granddaughter. Okay, I need to ask, do you mean, will she be moving with them or will she be staying or will she be okay? What, because there's a lot of different things coming in and I, I just want to start in the right place for your answer and not go off in the wrong direction of what you're not asking. Um, um, I guess the first thing would be is, um, is she moving with them and will she be okay? Okay. Instantly, when you ask, is she moving with them? Yes. Um, but then I hear she's coming back. And she's coming back alone. Okay. So I feel like... Okay. I feel like two things, and I'm going to say this, and I don't know what, what order, not direction, what order this is going to happen in. Okay? So I'm just going to say what I'm getting, and please understand the order might be a little bit different. Oh, the, the ringing in my ears just went to a sharp buzz. Um, so what I'm going to say is um, either while they move, she's going to be with you and then she's going to relocate with them for a bit. And I didn't think I was going to say for a bit, but that didn't uh -huh. come out. And then she is coming back to you. Um, I okay. feel like Whatever the situation, the let's just call it the parental situation is going to be, yeah. um, the, something is going to happen that is a uh, medical that is going to have your uh -huh. gra granddaughter, uh, grandchild um, back with you. And I do feel like at that point it will be permanent. But now I do want to say this, remember, mm -hmm. because there are so many people involved in this, they have free will and choice and one choice can change the outcome. I don't feel like it, this, I don't feel like right. it's going to, what I want to say is I don't think that the mother in this situation understands, um, I think the, okay, let me refer, let me say it this way. The mother not you, the other mother in this situation yeah. <laughs> um, gets very overwhelmed with taking care of herself, let alone a child, and isn't even aware of how much attention, time, and dedication it takes and responsibility to take care of her grandchild and right. is more used to being the primary center focus of care and so if she has to give that up for the grandchild, yeah, that grandchild's going to get kind of cut loose. I, for it, I don't mean that to sound as harsh as that sounds. It's actually in the best interest of the grandchild in this case, the sooner the better. Yeah. So everybody can get their appropriate care. Okay, that's... Right. Which I, could, I understand what you're saying. Phew, exactly. oh. 
Thank goodness. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Whew. So that is what I have for you, gorgeous girl. <laughs> Whew. I hope that is helpful. <laughs> Whew. That was, that was, I'm going to tell you sometimes the messages I have to give, like, I am like every muscle in my body is kind of clenched because I'm a, I'm like, oh my gosh, what is the response? Not only, for, I know your response to this message, you're probably expecting this to be the message, but you all would not believe some of the backlash I get from these back alley betties that have nothing better than to do than to say, I don't like the way you said this. Well, mm -hmm. I, I talk, well, tell I it to God it because... because you know, I, I just don't even know. Yeah. Um, but what I will say yeah. is... I mean, you're right. I mean, free will is free will, but I mean, still, you can kind of sense what possibly is going to happen anyways. Yeah. You know, and I do think... I think we all do. I think what you're sensing is... Uh, here's what I, I'm just going to say it again. I'm just going to say that there is... Um, it's almost... And I'm going to you please remember the word almost. It's almost set in stone that something is going to happen that is uh -huh. going to bring her back to you. Okay, love? Right. Right. Okay. Excellent. I completely understand. Excellent. Thank you so very uh, much. Oh I I appreciate you talking to me for a little bit. Awesome. I always love talking to you. <laughs> oh, gosh, I love talking to you, too. Absolutely. 100%. 100%. Um, All right. Sweetie, yeah, I... Have a good week. You, too. And I hope your husband is um, getting much, much better and everything goes as it's supposed to. Yes. Is the best way I can say that. Okay, gorgeous? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. You take care. You, too. And I look forward to next right. time. Okay. Thank you. Bye. 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 Um, if you'd like to call in and ask a question or connect with a loved one on the other side, the call in number is 845 277 9131. When you call in, if you do have a question, please remember to push the one on your phone so that I can um, know that you have a question and you're just not, you're, some people just use their phone to, um, listen to the show also. But again, the number is 845-277-9131. Um, please remember, I will never reach out to you for a session. The only way to get a session is to call my private number, not the 845 number, but the um, 414, 414-897-2869 is the private number for the private sessions. Um, and or go to my website, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O. That's the way to get the private session one-on-one, -on -one, but otherwise the call-in number is 845-277-9131. Okay, I'm going to go ask, answer a question on, um, uh, on a blog talk. Okay, I did Genevieve's question. Doing a sales question. Okay. Hey, Anne, how are you? It's wonderful to see you on the show today. Um, uh, haven't does. Okay. Today, Anne says, today, 23 years, my dad has been in heaven. Does he have any messages for me? I miss him. He misses you too, Anne. The first thing he wants to say is, he's so sorry. He's so sorry for the way. Yeah, he's just making the comment that, um, Life is not kind to everyone, and life has definitely not been as kind to you as it could be. Um, but it's time to pull yourself up by your bootstraps and push push yourself forward. You can't. There's. Um, you have to be your own knight in shining armor or your own prince. You have to get yourself going get yourself going and you don't have to have a big goal that you accomplish first baby steps make the big goal happen so just take one step at a time and then you, before you know it you'll be where you want to be 
Okay, Anne. And I hope that that was, and he loves you, and he loves you, and he loves you. He's like, tell her I love her, tell her I love her, tell her I love her. Okay, I told her, I told her you love her, I told her. And I hope that's helpful for you, and it helps you to, um, that the message that he gave you helps you um, in, in your life. Um, I'm going to go to 216, and then I'm going to take more questions on the chat. So please, uh, if you have questions, clearings you want, go ahead and do them. Uh, 216, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi there. My name is Sharon. I'm calling from Ohio. Hi there. How can I help you today? Quick question. Um, I found out Friday, we found out that we have to start going into the office about three days a week. It was one, which makes sense. I mean, we have to. But my question to you is, is this going to work out between this one, I work for a big company, I love everyone, uh, but one person, she kind of gives me a hard time sometimes. Is it going to be okay? Because I've been going on different days to <laughs> when she goes on, <laughs> just to avoid the, you know what I'm saying? I do. Okay, so here's, her, that's why. here's what I'm going to, I'm going to start by a clearing and then I'm going to answer the question. <laughs> so I for, make an effort to do that. I know. So here's what I'm going to clear. Um, any and all toxic, unhealthy, negative um, people or environments at work. And I'm not going to say in office. I'm just going to say work situations. Um, so everybody's included have been um, healed, cleared and released. I get a no. Let's heal, clear, release it. And oh, oh. okay. Oh yeah, and then any and uh, all that caused this and kept this as healed, clear, clear. I can't even speak. Cleared and released. Nope. Let's take, let's take care of that. Um, these are heavy duty. We are talking extra heavy woohoo's today. Um, and then the <clears throat> the last thing I'm going to clear: any unhealthy work relationships have been healed, cleared, and released, along with all that's caused them and kept them. I absolutely get a no. I'm oh. going to clear that, and I instantly get like uh, like this pressure in my head, like a headache from this one. So what I'm going to say is, um, you know, you're doing the right thing. Uh, try to consistently be on opposing or different days than this person. And I do feel like she is going to calm down. I, but I don't feel like it's ever going to be. Um, I here's what I'm honestly getting. She just has this poop storm going on in her life continually, and um, always. And that you know, I don't even like to listen to her. I, I, it's so sad. I, I don't want to bring that. But go on. I'm sorry. No, it yeah, is, it's true, isn't it? Is that why does she do it on me? Because, I don't because she can. And it's it, so annoying. It, it's high school. Yeah, so here's what I'm gonna say. Um, people, it's not only you. It's other people when you're not. You may not, there's always, the way to say this is, this is who she is, whomever she can do this with, she's going to. But also, and on top of that, um, she, she is, it's not only you, like. I know. Yeah, it's everybody. But here's okay. what I'm going to say is. Um, I'm right now. Right. I'm right now. You're Come the on. person at work, she can do it too. There are pers people in her personal life she also does it too. But I'm gonna like, I'm gonna say this, what's inside of a person comes out of a person. So just, you know, what I always do when someone like this c approaches me or whether it's on the phone or whatever, if I'm all, this is my go-to. And I'm, I'm, I need to preface this with, I do have the teeniest bladder in the world. So if I say this to you, it's not because I'm trying to get away from you. But if somebody like tries to entrap me into a conversation or, or negativity or whatever it is, I always go, oh, can you hold that thought for a second? I need to use the restroom. <laughs> now, everybody I know is going, oh, my God, she said that to me. <laughs> yes, because I pee like every five minutes. Okay, folks, I do. But I also do use that as an out if I just need to get away from somebody. And, and to all my girlies out there, to every single girlie and every father, brother, and mother, sister, 
tell your girlies if they're ever in a situation in a out in public where there is a man who feels uncomfortable or unsafe, use that. Go into a bathroom, a porta potty, and call whoever you need to and get them there because that I have had to do also on more than one occasion, unfortunately. And nobody will ever stop you from going to the bathroom. Nobody will ever stop you. If you say, I have to go to the bathroom, nobody will ever stop you and say no or try to keep talking. That's the one thing people will let you do. And it puts you in a room that is safe where you can reach out to whoever you want. Now, getting back to you, you know what? <laughs> just coming back to you now, you rounding know, that all the way. We went all the way around the world with that one. What I'm going to say to you is that if you um, just keep a scheduling on different days and then just keep like walking away to go to the bathroom and um, I know do that, that's going to be helpful. On one occasion, I literally had somebody follow me and wait outside of the bathroom for me. And I was like, number. oh, Lord, please go away. Um, so that is something you might want to um, really consider. Just okay. hold on to that and use that, okay, if you need to in the future. Okay. Or what you can do also is put on noise canceling. They just showed me this one, so I'm going to share it for you and anybody okay. else listening in a toxic work environment that can do this. Put on noise canceling headphones, um, headphones that you know, it doesn't have to be music. And then just like flip I one ear a... up and say, oh, I'm so sorry. I need to get this done. So I'm like canceling out everything around me so I can finish my work and flop it back down and just continue working. Okay. So that is another option that you might want to use at work. Okay, love. People do know her number, don't they? I think most people probably do, but what I would say is um, don't get into even that thought in your head. Just move Thank forward. Thank you. Don't go that deep. Okay. Yeah. I got it. And and just move forward in um, in your space doing what you need to do. Um, and remember... Even though somebody might be toxic or negative, it doesn't mean other people don't like them. Those people who tend to be the victim, other people tend to like really rally around sometimes. So be careful of that too, okay? okay? So that's a very specific okay. truth coming out right there, okay? Whew, I hope that's helpful, love. Thank you. You you are so, so I welcome. It, it, absolutely my pleasure. I hope that you have an amazing rest of the day. Thank you so much. Thank you. You are welcome. You are. Okay. I'm going to go to online questions. If you'd like to call in, if you have a request, if you, if you have a, if you have a request for a song, call in, I'll play it. I don't even know where that came from. Okay. <laughs> Ay, 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 ay. Um, if you have a question that you would like to ask or a connection you would like to make, please call in 845-277-9131. I'll be happy to answer that. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to pay some attention to my little chat group, my big chat group. I love you guys so much. I'm going to give you guys some love right now. Okay. Kim, Kim, if you're still here, let me know. Mom has a large mass that continues to grow near her buttock, her booty wooty. Should I get it checked with a doctor again or just leave it alone? It's not creating her any trouble yet. Would I open a can of worms? Um, I'm going to say again, a cleanse. If you didn't hear the beginning of the show, I'll go back to the beginning of the show or read the comments for the random person. Um, I'm going to say that might be very, very helpful for your mom. Also, I'm also going to say if you get it checked, you might get. Um, if you get it. 
what will they do with it? I feel like they'll either try to, they'll try to in whatever way they would do it is remove it. Like whether that means draining it or um, removing it or whatever it is, and then procedures afterwards. So you have to decide depending on the condition of mom, what's best for her at this time for that. Um, but I do feel like if there was a bit of a cleanse going on, that might be helpful also. Um, and again, it depends on the condition of mom. What can mom handle at this point also? Okay. Um, <clears throat> hey, Sal, thank you. You're well, you're absolutely my pleasure, Sal. Okay. I'm going to go to, uh, da, 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 da. Caroline, I'm so happy you asked a question today. Caroline wants to know, does my grandma Eliza in heaven have any messages for me? Thank you, Tony. Yes, uh, she does. As a matter of fact, she's very, very upright and very proper and very um, like uh, of the old school sophistication. And the first thing that she would want to say is, you are doing amazing. Don't let anybody snooker, snooker you, fool you. No, yes, no and yes. Don't, don't let anybody, um, don't let anybody tell you different. Don't let anybody fool you to think you're not doing good or to tell you you're not you're not who you are is the way she would want to say that i feel like your grandmother maybe is if english was not her first language i'm trying to like get the words there i'm trying to catch catch the sometimes when somebody's first language is not english it comes out a little um like this folks so i apologize for that uh she wants to tell you that uh she is always always with you and um, takes you takes you for takes like it's taking care of you um, and making sure that everything around you is ta uh, taken care of. Um, to, and she just keeps making the statement to to take care of you, to take care of you, to take care of you, like uh, to making sure to making sure to take care of you. Okay. Yeah. I don't, I really, Caroline, I don't know. Uh, oh yeah. She lived in Portugal. Okay. Thank you. Right there. So I, that is why it's the, the channeling or the translation is coming out the way it is. Please be pa patient with the translation of this, everybody. And for, for my clients um, who know, I have a lot of clients with family that is from other countries they know that the translation comes out like broken english and that's exactly what's happening here and so please just be patient with the messaging um i am going to tell you that she also wants to tell you there there is a change in the wind uh there's something coming in the wind something coming in the air a change in the wind don't worry everything is already taken care of um the change is not a bad change. It's a good change and it will um, help um, to you. It will help. It's, it will help to you. Uh, it's, it's what, however that's meant. Like, I don't want to give it meaning that it might not have. Um, it will help to you. How do you mean that? How do you mean it will help to you? It will be, uh, either the help will be there for you or you, they are helping you with the change. It's not a big change. It's not a, a really, it's not a life altering change. It's just some changes going on around you that might be bringing you some fear that are going to work out so beautifully and so perfectly. You're not even going to believe it when the time comes. Okay. You're just going to be like, oh my gosh, this is simply amazing. Um, how everything works out so beautifully. Um, get to, get your hands in the soil or the dirt get get your fingers and your feet in the dirt and the soil um and and 
breathe, uh, breathe, breathe. Okay. <gasps> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. It's a little hiccup or a little half hiccup, half, half little burp there. I don't know what that was. Um, also to just live and don't to just to live with no fear now that time has passed okay that is what she would want to say to you caroline oh, i hope that that was helpful for you i hope you understood the messages i hope everybody understood those messages um caroline says um beautiful messages thank you grandma and tony you're my pleasure hey joy how are you it's so wonderful to see you on the show i'm gonna come up if you'd like to call in the number is 845-277-91 three one um next um kate is saying there was a strong small smell a strong smell of cinnamon rolls oh my gosh cinnamon rolls mm. yes i love cinnamon rolls the other day while i was getting ready to leave who was around me I it, I hear three three there were three women around you either a grandma and aunts maybe a grandma and her sisters or grandma and aunts one of them was a little bit fuller and I feel like she had a great perky personality like that's why they're doing the little dance um, and song. Uh, great perky personality, br like a brunette type of hair. And I see her in this green dress. It's very distinct, very distinct. Like this green dress, brown hair, and a little bit like fuller. Not full, full, but fuller. Um, and she just had like this perky sort of personality. Yeah. She, I think she liked to dance because ever since I tapped into her, I just am like ch -ch 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 -ch, moving a lot. Okay. And then there are two women on either side of her, whether that's the grandmother or an aunt or a sis, sis, sibling of whomever, those are the people that I'm getting. Um, Kate, I hope, uh, I hope that helps you to understand who is around you, but again, they're always around you every once in a while, you will catch the signs they're giving you. Okay. Happy Monday to you. Happy Monday to you also. Um, uh, Joy, happy to have you here. Joy wants to know, um, Joy, if you're still here I, and, um, Kate, if you got that message, please let me know you got it and confirm it for me. Let me know if that was accurate. If if, if you know who the people are, please um, let it, let me and everybody in the chat know that that was the case. I'm going to move on to Joy. And Joy, if you're still here um, and I'm answering your question, please confirm it for me. I would love that for you. Um, Joy, I wanted to ask about a friend I went to grade school with. See, this is why I love when people call in because reading is not my strong. <laughs> it's like the print is so tiny. One of my friends the other day called me Mr. Magoo and I'm going to answer your question, Joy, <laughs> because we were getting in a vehicle and I thought I saw, <laughs> I'm not even joking. I thought I saw this car had a dog in it. <laughs> And I was like, oh, that's such a cute dog. And she's like, where? And I'm like, there. She's like, that's not a dog. I'm like, what is it? She goes, it's a picture of a sloth. <laughs> so she started calling me Mr. Magoo. And I, I kind of can't argue with it. Oh, gosh, yes. I kind of cannot argue with that. <laughs> um Okay, you will put your serious face back on and answer these qu this question. Um, I wanted to ask about a friend I went to grade school with. I don't feel she's my real friend. I feel she's she tried to sabotage me in school, and she just she just got married, and our other friends were in her wedding. She didn't ask me to be in. She didn't ask me to be in it, 
and she didn't post any pics with me. So I'm wondering if she was just using me during school and if she's a real friend. You know, I'm, she's more of an acquaintance. Um, she doesn't feel as bonded with you as other people is a really polite way of saying it, but she's more of an acquaintance. And I always say this, people will show you who you are in their life if you let them. Um, and she has shown you, she has, she has shown you. This goes for intimate relationships, uh, dating relationships. It goes for uh, friendships and even family. And we tend to give people the benefit of the doubt and in some cases enjoy them. I'm not saying this is you. Um, I'm not saying this is you, Joy. I'm just saying in, in some cases, we really want to feel important in an event or in a person's life. So when they do or say things, we will take it as um, we mean something to that person or it means something, but we're really, you know, doing that role. And what I'm going to say is she's more of an associate or an, an acquaintance than a close friend. And it's okay. Um, it's okay. But, you know, once you know, you get to choose for you personally, what's appropriate and how you feel about it and what you're comfortable doing or not doing with or for that person. Um, once I know somebody's place in my life or my place in their life, I move quick. I don't play. Like I'm just, and, and some people can't understand this. I think it has a lot to do with my childhood and the way I was brought up and things that happened in my childhood, but I can cut a cord so fast you didn't even see those scissors come out. Mm -mm. I'll keep that cord until I know, no. I mean, like I know, no. But once I know, phew, you'll never even know that cord existed because you're gone. You're, you're so long gone. And like, and then I will never think of that person again. And not because I'm a cold hearted, whatever. It's just like well, our journey is done. I'm not looking back. I'm looking forward do the same. I, I wasn't that then. I won't be that now. So keep it up and push, push, push in the direction you were going. I am nobody's person of convenience. Mm -mm. And once I figure out that's what I am in your life, oh, I will excuse myself from your life. And I, you then in my mind, you are gone. It's over. Yeah. Now, some people say that's, how can you do that? How can you not? How can you not do that? How can you not have that boundary for yourself? How can you allow people to come and suck you dry in a bad way and then not have any respect for that? So when people show you who they are, when people act a certain way to you, don't question that. Don't think you're thinking about it wrong. Don't think you're misunderstanding it. Act accordingly. Because the sooner you get rid of people like that, the sooner you get the goodies, the yummies, the reals. Trust me on that one. Trust me on that one. That is a solid, solid fact. Okay? That's just the most solid back there is. Now, if you wanted to be part of the wedding and you didn't mind putting that part in regardless of how close she feels to you, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, but moving forward, good to know, right? Good to know. Okay, everybody, I want to thank you so much for being here and being on the show today. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. I'm so grateful that you took the time to join the show, call in, uh, ask questions online. I will be back Wednesday at noon central time. 
Uh, again, you can join on YouTube Live. You can call in 845-277-9131. You can join us live. Or you can, of course, I'm on almost every podcast. Um, I air on WSCS. I'm on all of Rude Rangers channels and st streaming channels or stations uh, and podcasts and uh, radio stations. So it, it, so many places to catch me. Um, we are at that hour mark and the segments have to go 30 or 60 minutes for the purpose of the TV show. So it's time for me to unfortunately um, say, uh, say, say my goodbyes until Wednesday. I will be back Wednesday. So if I did not get to your question, I did not get to your call, please um, call back Wednesday. Um, you can join us in the chat 15 minutes before the show. We are all talking and chatting. Um, and Heather, your song for the day is Elvira. Elvira. <laughs> they made me slip that one in. And I think that's been your song before. I don't even know. Okay. I love each and every one of you so, so very, very much. Remember, it is your job to create the miracles in your life each and every day. Oh, and really quick, I know this is such a last minute thing. If you have not started your own thing, your own business, your own independent contractor thing, start it now. Listen, there are a lot of things I said two, three years ago. And since then, please, please, do whatever you have to do to start your own independent business, um, con independent contractor, whatever. Even if you think, well, this is small, who cares? It's something on the side you can do. Do it now. If there's something you've been thinking about wanting to do, something you've been wanting to grow, do it. Do, do it now, okay? Um, it, there's so many things in the beauty industry that, and the beauty industry is going to grow exponentially over the next five to 10 years. I mean, exponentially, because some people did something that is aging them very, very quickly. Okay. It's literally aging their physical look inside and out, um, aging them inside and out. Um, the beauty industry is going to grow exponentially. Transportation, anything you can pick up and or deliver, uh, whether it be people or things, anything in the transportation business is going to grow exponentially over the next couple of years. I mean, beyond what you can imagine. Anything in natural healing. Now, let me tell you, naturopaths, naturopaths, and I don't know if it's called herbalists, but people who work with natural remedies and that sort of thing, over the top, it's going to, there's going to be a very high demand for that. A lot of nurses are going to transition into careers of actually doing um, like ozone treatments, uh, injections of um, peptides and minerals and vitamins. All of these things are going to be growing exponentially over the next five to 10 years. Um, there are many other areas and many other businesses. Um, there's one. 90 seconds. Ah, there's one even I'm thinking of doing, which is a portable bar where you take your bar to events. It's just a little a little portable bar and you take it since I can't get my margarita chalk. I'm just saying they don't license those. Apparently you can't get like a margarita chalk, like a ice cream truck and drive it down the street. Apparently. I mean, so you just have to Sixty seconds. sit someplace. Um, that is going to be very, very popular because more people are going to be doing at home events or graduations and um, weddings and stuff. So portable bars, a portable bar business is going to be very huge and I've got to go. But Wednesday, we will continue. Remind me for those of you still here in the chat, remind me to, to, to pick up where we left off with the businesses. I love each and every one of you so very, very much. Have an amazing next couple of days. Thank you.
Thank you.